Hey everybody, Rob D'Alessio, Taste of Retirement. And today, we're doing a pork green chili over a jalapeno mac and cheese. Lots of flavors, a hint of spice, but it's all awesome. Come on, let me show you how we do it. Okay, so we're doing a green chili pork mac and cheese. All kinds of flavors. The pork is amazing. We're putting it over a jalapeno mac and cheese. Uh, the jalapeno mac and cheese is super simple and you're gonna absolutely love it. So the first thing we need to do, I went ahead and bought pork chops. They come from the pork loin. You can use pork shoulder or maybe even pork belly if you want. But I went ahead and used this. Uh, it reduces the cook time and it just, the, the pork is tender. But you wanna kind of still make it a little bit more lean. So I go ahead and trim off that back, that fat cap on the back. And so what's funny about this, in this dish, we actually use tomatillos. Now, some people call them tomatillos, some ca call them armadillos, I don't know, but tomatillos, here's what you don't know. They're actually poisonous if they are not ripe when they're picked. So if the leaves are still attached really hard and if the stem is still on there, then they can be poisonous. So the husk is actually called a lantern, so you want the husk to open up. When you get it, take all that off and then really wash them vigorously with your hands. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just, we're gonna cube the pork and then we're gonna season it with salt and pepper because my pork chops don't come seasoned, so I gotta season them. And you know, as we're getting into December and the end of the year, you know, it's getting cold. You need something good and hearty and there's nothing better than this as far as something that's just really, really good and hearty. Fill you up, get the fireplace going, watch football, basketball, hockey, read Matt's book about retirement planning. All right, so the oil's good and hot, and just so you know, I used about three or four tablespoons of grapeseed oil. You just need to use an oil with a very, very, very high smoke point. Uh, because this pan, you, you want to get the pan roaring hot so you can get a good sear on the outside of the pork. And if you use an olive oil or butter, you're going to regret it, I promise you. So the pork's in there. We're going to take some salt. We're going to season it. We're going to liberally season it. I know that seems like a lot, but it'll cook down in the process, so that's fine. All right, and then we're just going to move that around to sear. I went ahead and roasted off some garlic. That's gonna go in the pan here in a little bit. And all you wanna do there is chop up the garlic. You just wanna smash the clove down so it's nice and flat. And then just chop. Make sure you don't chop your fingers off. That you know make the night go not the way you want it to. And nobody really wants your finger in the mac and cheese anyway, so. Got the pot of water boiling. Uh, and a watch pot never boils, so it's gonna take forever. But the pork's going. Um, in a minute here, we're going to roast off some poblanos, some jalapenos, and some tomatillos. We're gonna roast them in the oven, and then we're gonna chop them up and make a nice chili with it. And then we're gonna mix that with the mac and cheese or on top of the mac and cheese, and it's gonna be heaven. So I'm gonna keep roasting this off, and then we'll go from there. So while the pork simmers and we're getting that good brown color on the outside, I did chop up the garlic like you saw. Now I'm gonna roughly chop up a Spanish onion. And a Spanish onion's a yellow onion. It adds some sweetness, uh, just a little bit of it. And then we're gonna, when the pork's seared off, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna throw the garlic and the onion in. We're gonna saute them just for a little bit. Then we're gonna throw the chicken broth in with some oregano and some cumin, which I absolutely love cumin. Adds a little bit of heat, really nice flavor to it. And then we'll add the pork back in, let it simmer for a little while. And then meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and roast some poblanos, and we're gonna roast some jalapenos and the tomatillos. And I'll show you what we're gonna do there. We're gonna take some of the seeds and the stems out. The stems are where the heat comes from. So we're gonna take them out so it's not too spicy. Okay, so with the poblano, obviously you take the stem off. And you see that that's in there. And I like to cut it in half, long ways. And then just take as much of that stem out as you can or as you, I mean, as you want. I mean, that's where heat comes, although poblanos aren't that hot anyway. We're gonna actually put them skin side up and then we're gonna roast them under the broiler for about five, 10 minutes. They're gonna get good and charred. 
And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do after that. It's super cool. Okay, so we took the pork out. It's good, it's happy. Got some nice brown bits on there. Lots of cool, fun bits in the pan. We're gonna take the garlic and the chopped onions. They're gonna go in for about 30, 45 seconds, maybe a minute. And then we're gonna add two or three cups of chicken broth. You can obviously make your own. You can buy some, no big deal there. This is just gonna add a ton of flavor in there. But you can burn garlic really, really quickly. So I like to put it in there and scrape it around a little bit because then you're, you're getting that nice pork fat off the bottom of the pan. All right, so the aromas are unbelievable. Uh, we've got the garlic going, it's not burned. Again, we're gonna go two to three cups of chicken broth. Now what you do is you add your spices, your oregano and your cumin, a little bit of kosher salt, and then you dump the pork back in. You're gonna bring that back up to a boil, so you wanna go back to high. Once that starts to simmer a little bit, you'll throw the lid on, and then you'll let it go for about 30 or 45 minutes. And then we'll come back and watch it. We roasted off the tomatillos, the poblanos, and the jalapenos. And what you wanna do is, you wanna put them in little Ziploc bags or some kind of other bag, but just make sure they're airtight. And then you can just let them sit there for about five minutes. They're gonna steam and cook themselves even further. And then what we're gonna do is take the skin off. It'll just fall off. And then after that, I'm gonna show you what the magic is. Okay, so the pasta's almost ready. I went ahead and I've got all the skins off the peppers. It, it was great, it was easy. You can watch videos on that. Maybe I'll do a video later on that. Um, all right, so in a minute, we're gonna put these in a food processor just to grind them all up. The pork's getting ready. We're gonna wrap all of this up here in just a minute or two. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You should scratch your phone and sniff it. All right, so we processed the poblanos, the tomatillos, and the jalapenos. There's some good flavors, good aromas. Uh, some good heat to it. The, the, the base of the chili is doing well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the top off, let it just reduce down just a little bit more, and then when I'm done making the mac and cheese, we'll be done. And it smells absolutely fantastic. I went ahead and took the pork bits out. They're good, they're done. I went ahead and processed them, just pulsed them just a little bit to break them up into a little bit finer bite. It's just gonna make the overall the chili just taste so much better. All right, the chili's done. Turn the heat off, let all those flavors meld. I'm actually gonna remove it from the heat just because I don't want it to reduce anymore. Then I'm gonna drain the pasta and then we'll finish making the mac and cheese. Okay, we've got the queso blanco. I chopped it up just because it's gonna help melt, melt it. I drained the pasta. I don't really worry about getting all the water out for this because I really want that macaroni and cheese to be nice and creamy and that'll actually help with the liquid process. You can add as much cheese as you like or as little as you like, but I mean, cheesy is breezy, man. So you're just gonna mix that up, melt that down, and then we're gonna start adding the milk. And, and I've got two cups of milk poured. I doubt I'll use all of that. You're gonna have to eyeball it here. All right, mac and cheese is good. It's nice and creamy. It's got a lot of yumminess to it. I'm just gonna, I like to use a slotted spoon or the spider to get it out just so it's not too wet. And what you wanna do, you just wanna get a nice healthy portion in your serving dish. And then you're gonna to top it off with the pork green chili. All right, there you have it. A pork green chili over a jalapeno mac and cheese, tons of flavor, little bit of spice. If you like what we did today, please go to our YouTube page and hit subscribe. You'll see amazing dishes like this and all of our past content. I'm Rob D'Alessio, and this was The Taste of Retirement.